Another movie review just, just for, for you. you. Wow, that was an awesome movie. It was just so magical, right? Yeah. Thank you to Disney for inviting us to the media screen of Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. 60 years ago, Sleeping Beauty came out in the theaters. And now we have a completely new twist of the storyline with Maleficent and Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Maleficent is played by Angelina Jolie. And she is so awesome with her character, her role. Maleficent is my favorite character because she is the most powerful being in the Moors. Maleficent is supposed to be a dark person, and she fits that role perfectly. Chiwetel Ejiofor is a dark fairy from the Dark Fae, and they are fighting for their survival. He is my favorite character. You may have heard him as Scar from the 2019 Lion King and seen him as Mordo from Doctor Strange. Michelle Pfeiffer plays Queen Ingrid. You may have seen her in Ant-Man the Wasp as Janet Van Dyne. In this movie, she is married to the King of Alstead, and they have a son named Prince Philip, who is in love with Aurora. Aurora is played by Elle Fanning. You may have seen her as a little girl in Daddy Daycare. We just watched it, and it's so funny to see her as a four-year-old. It has been five years since Aurora has been made Queen of the Moors. Prince Philip has asked Aurora's hand in marriage, and preparations are quickly made for the wedding. And then the rest of the movie is... Disaster. I'm serious. Disaster. You cannot spoil it like that. Okay, it was a really good... It was awesome. The movie was awesome, but... The wedding. Disasterful. Diafal is so much more hilarious in this movie. He's running around trying to help Maleficent try to actually act nice when Prince Philip asks Aurora and Maleficent to have dinner with them. And it's just so funny having Diaval trying to tell Maleficent what to do. Diaval is having such a hard time trying to actually have Maleficent say stuff without it sounding like a threat. <laughs> and she's trying to make her actually look presentable to the Queen and King of all said. It must be a really hard job. I feel sorry for him. Is Maleficent really the mistress of evil? Because she was really nice to Aurora, but she also killed the king in the first movie. So, does that technically count her as the mistress of evil? I don't know. We'll have to think about that. My favorite part of the animation was the battle. I agree with you, because it made it look like they were actually flying through the air, attacking, defending. It was awesome. Just so magnificent. Magical. I really love this movie. Did you like it? Yes, I did like it. I don't think little kids will like it, but if you have seen Maleficent and they were fine with it, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to see Mistress of Evil, no problem. It's a little bit darker, but it's still an awesome movie. Maleficent, Mistress of Evil comes to theaters October 18th. Go see it. This is William. And Alexander. With Plugged In Family. Yes. First try. Reduce the evilness in here to make her become nice. <laughs> the rest of the movie is a disaster. <laughs> Learn this lessons, kid. Don't get married to someone who's royal because then they're... <laughs>